Hi folks, it's Terry and Stephanie with 270 Smokers. I have been absolutely craving a smoked meatloaf, so today Terry and I are going to smoke this on the 270KC. This recipe is inspired by Melissa Cookston smoking in the boys' room. We've made a couple of key changes. Uh, first, we are not an onion household, so I've used, instead of uh, green pepper and onion, I've just sauteed some shallots and some finely shredded carrots. And then for our seasonings, we're going with uh, the chupacabra steak seasoning as the uh, part for part substitute for Melissa's recipe that has salt, garlic, uh, I think onion powder, but essentially we'll put in two teaspoons of the chupi steak. And then instead of her all purpose seasoning, we're gonna use a tablespoon of uh, Scott Adams all in championship barbecue rub. Absolutely love this. And instead of making her sauce, we're using uh, head country apple habanero and of course for our panko the gluten-free because we are a gluten-free household other than that I think uh, it's pretty much spot on oh the grind <laughs> well I guess the grind is different too um, we're just using some brisket trims uh, that have you know just come out of the freezer here so uh, some we're fortunate to have some nice a9 wagyu uh, brisket grind that we're gonna put in this meatloaf We're gonna go ahead and put a few hickory chunks into our fire. It's not gonna to take too much. We've just got a couple of pounds of meat that we're gonna be cooking in this meatloaf. Just go ahead and get that started. We've got our smoker going oh roughly 325 degrees. It's a two pound meatloaf. All right, we're going to do a temp check. And then, oh, 45 minutes. And, uh, oh, does that really good? It's dead nuts. About 165. Get a little of that extra juice off. It's a little more of this head country apple habanero. It's the same sauce that we used in the meatloaf itself. Okay, and then we're just going to go back in the smoker for, oh, 10 or 15 minutes to let that just set up. And here it is. Oh, that looks delicious. Can't wait to bite into that. <laughs> 